Franny says, I'd like to know the best way of facing someone or something full of negative energy, especially anger, calamity or such. It's really hard to calm yourself knowing that you've tried the best you can to please everyone by doing good deeds and by being well behaved. Yet the negativity still surrounds you and never lets up. This obstacle is getting on my nerves. Does one's karma have anything to do with their parents or family? What am I supposed to do to deal with this? Well, I mean, it's quite a quite a complex question, Franny. The best way of facing anybody who's full of negativity is with compassion. And we've spoken about this in the past, and obviously you're trying, but this doesn't mean that the person necessarily is going to change. So the best I can suggest you do is to continue to have compassion, to generate loving kindness towards the person or persons involved to a actually causing you to feel this way. Now, through the practice of insight meditation, we start to see that these negative emotions, they arise and they cease due to conditioned phenomenon that take place or, or conditioners. Now, when we become aware of these conditioners, then through the practice of meditation, we can actually prevent ourselves from feeling the anger or the frustration. It's, it is a difficult one. Um, often in the workplace, we, we're confronted by people who are very, very negative all of the time. And either either they have to go or we have to go. Um, you don't need to be walked all over. If there are people who are going out of their way to annoy you, then of course we, we start by by doing our best to send them loving kindness and compassion and to try and understand where they're coming from what it is that makes them like this. But it doesn't mean that you have to accept it all of the time. Sometimes we actually have to turn around and just say, hey, stop, that's enough, I'm tired of this. Take your attitude somewhere else. I don't need it here. And you're not going to be losing a friend, obviously, because this kind of person can't really be considered your friend. If they want to spend their entire day with negative thoughts, with negative emotions, they're not really the kind of people you want to have as friends. So you may actually have to tell them, enough is enough. I'm not going to put up with this anymore. And move on. Um, <laughs> question in regards to the family, does one's karma have anything to do with their parents or family? Yeah, yeah it does actually. Um, you know there's the old saying you can choose your friends but you can't choose your parents, well that's actually incorrect. Um, we do in actual fact choose our parents uh, and it is definitely uh, conditioning through karma that this takes place and so even with parents sometimes you know uh, you know not everybody is born into a particularly good or a happy family and sometimes we have to move away uh, even from from the influence of our parents the important thing is when we do move away from our parents that we do it in a way that's not hurtful it's, it's not spiteful you know, we just let them know that it's it's time for us to move on, assuming they're old enough to, to be able to move on. 
Otherwise, in the meantime, there's really not a lot you can do except continue the practice of vipassana meditation and understand that this is their negativity and it's not your negativity so you don't have to take ownership of any of it you know uh, this is kind of like letting them live in your head rent free you know if you if you're a landlord and somebody wasn't paying rent you'd kick them out you know you, uh, you wouldn't allow them to live in your house anymore and but well, these people that make us angry it is almost like letting them live rent free inside of our heads and we don't need to do that and so just understand that the negativity is not your negativity the anger is not your anger and so when you're sitting there and people are being negative and then you feel within yourself that there's negativity arising in your own mind then just quickly make a note of the arising of the negativity and let it go don't keep it don't hold on to it you know? don't force it away because we can't do that either you know we can't we can't force bad things away from us bad things will always happen and don't forget Franny even a person who has got a very calm and a very tranquil mind a person who has insight they are still aware of the good things and the bad things that take place around them you know, they're not they're not tuned out so to speak but they don't allow their own minds to become affected by these things that are taking place around them and so through your practice through the continuing practice of vipassana meditation then you'll be able to accept that these things are happening but they're not happening to you they're just happening and the thoughts any negative thoughts you have they're merely thoughts they'll arise due to certain conditions and they'll cease okay so I hope this helps you Franny and you said at the beginning of your letter that you were uh, sorry to disturb me again hey don't be sorry to disturb me again if you need any more help if you have any more questions that's what we're here for so please don't apologize and always feel free to come and ask me I hope this helps and keep in touch bye now